guys, it's Crystal with DoingItDIYStyle.com and today I'm super excited because we're going to do centerpieces. We're actually going to do a very simple centerpiece that um, will look very elegant on your table um, in the winter time or any time because they have very neutral colors. Um, so these are going to be wine bottle centerpieces and all we're going to use are wine bottles, paint, and beads that we got from a dollar store. So I'm really excited. I'm going to get myself all set up and then we're going to get started. Okay guys, so here we are. Um, basically I have three wine bottles um, and I'm going to use little beads that I got from the dollar store. I'm going to snip them apart and just wrap them around the um, probably in the midpoint of the bottle. I'm going to use two uh, bead necklaces on each bottle, and I do have silver and gold. And these are just, uh, you know, I, as I said, they're regular dollar store beads. They come in a pack of eight, I believe, of four silver and four gold. And I just use them for some photos with my daughter. And, um, didn't know what else to do with them, so and I didn't want to throw them in the garbage, so I figured this would work. So I bought this enamel paint at Joann's. Um, it was like 99 cents, um, but it does require a little more work than regular spray paint. So you can use regular spray paint on the bottles, but since I was there, um, anyway, I just decided to get this and to try this out. So I'm just going to pour this in here. Now, this says it takes four days. You should let it dry for four days. Then you should bake it for 30 minutes at 325 degrees in a non-preheated oven. And then you cool with the oven door open and that makes it dishwasher safe. You can also use this on wood. It says that um, you apply one to two coats and you air cure for 48 hours. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm just going to start with this wine bottle and I'm just sticking my finger in the top of it because it does have you clean the surface with alcohol and that you know, it takes off any residue, any oils that are on the bottles. Um, so I don't, you know, on your hands you have oils, so I don't want to put any extra oil on there that would affect the paint job. I'm just going to paint this, and I'm using a sponge brush. And I may have to use more than one coat that is leaving little streaks. Let's see, I used the sponge brush on furniture and when, it's funny because when I went horizontal, it would leave streaks and here I'm going vertical. So maybe if I went horizontally, nope, that makes it worse. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to let these dry. As I said, they tend to dry quickly. The first one I did is pretty much dry, it's just a little tacky. Um, but I am going to let them dry for a few days, as the instructions say, and um, come back and we're going to snip 
these beads so that they're string. They're a string of beads. And then we're going to glue them around the bottles and use them as our centerpieces. Okay? And we'll see you guys in a few days. Okay guys, it's been um, three or four days since we've painted the bottles. And as you can see, they still have the brush marks, the brush strokes on them. But I decided to leave them since I feel like it kind of gives the bottle a little character. Um, and I think they look nice with the beads on there. As you can see also, I changed up the style that I told you originally I was going to do. Originally I was just going to wrap two necklaces around the bottles so you'd have two um, like a two inch uh, rows of beads um, but while I was uh, putting them away I just dropped the beads on there and they fell like this and I decided that I actually liked that better than the idea of wrapping them around so um, since I'm having two bottles that are silver <clears throat> I decided to do similar but different um, designs. As you can see here, the design is very similar, but this one is different because the cross come, is dropped. It comes down, and this one's at the neck. And this side is the same. See, so similar but the same. And with the gold one, I just decided to do something completely different. But one thing that all three bottles are going to have is the row of beads on the bottom to just make them a, a little cohesive. So, like I told you, these are dollar store beads, so you are going to come up with little things about them that are not right or don't look right and with these beads are they were fused together and when they were fused together it left a little um, like a burnt mark on it I don't know if you could see that on here these are on all of them um, so on, like the gold one here you can tell um, but what are you going to do? They cost a dollar for six of them. I mean, can you really be that upset? <laughs> so, but what we're going to do with the wrap is we're going to cut them. And I have already cut this one. I cut it at the fused um, mark. And realized that they were even uglier once they were cut apart. And just cut the other sides of them. So now these look just like a row of beads. And we're going to glue them on the bottom. And we're going to try to get them as even um, as possible on the bottom. So here we go. And as I told you, I'm going to use tacky glue. For those of you who took art class in school, um, this is the glue that you'd most likely use when you were doing art projects. And what I am going to do is I'm going to glue the beads to themselves, not to the bottle. So I want it to still be able to move around, but I want it to be, uh, I don't want it to come apart. So I'm just putting a little bead of glue on the uh, rope part in the middle and just pressing it down so that they're touching and then I'm going to do this side <clears throat> okay guys I got my glue gun I plugged it in it's all set to go to go um, believe it or not, the time it took me to run downstairs and get the hot glue gun, that quick, quickly I came back with hiccups. <laughs> 
So just bear with me, please, with the hic hiccups here. Um, so I'm just putting a dab of glue on the on the bead. And it's right, these bottles have, excuse me, some, um, like, uh, dots on the bottom of the bo bottles. And they all, they're not the same brand of bottle. They're not the same type of bottle. Um, but they all have these little dots. And I'm doing it just so the beads come right above the dots. trying but I can see them already a little hot glue string <laughs> starting to form Okay guys, here's the moment you've been waiting for for more than four days. Well, not really four days, but four days for me. So I'm super excited to have my first centerpiece on my newly re refinished table. As you can see, I still have hiccups. <laughs> so are you ready? I know I'm ready. So let's take a look. Okay, here they are all finished and on the table. What do you guys think? I think they look great. This project cost me a total of only $2 for paint and beads. Everything else I had or was given to me. Now, if you like and if you have a tray, a, a rectangular tray or a circle tray, um, you can put them in the tray and that will add to the centerpiece. 